All right, this is my uh, presentation on research into re record labels. Um, first off, we'll start off with what is a record label, just a basic. A uh, record label is the company that signs an artist and gives them a recording contract. Um, so they promote them and they'll do tours and advertising. They'll look after, they'll, look, they'll make sure that the band gets out there and gets seen, basically. And the other part to a record label or a music company is the distributor. They, uh, they're the company that um, makes the album and then sends them out to company to um, shops like HMV. And next we have the makeup of the music industry. It's quite large. Um, this is a diagram I found online, but it's very complicated. That's all. Um, made a simplified version. So we start off with the artist um, who is signed to a record label and the record label is either a major label which means it's owned by one of the big four or it's independent which means it's not owned by one of the big four. A major label is often part of a record group such as, Vir such as Virgin Music and these are owned by a music group so which is one of the big four which I'll come on to later. And the Music group um, own, often owns a distributor, the publisher, and the manufacturer. But the independent, um, the independent record label often uses another distributor, and all they're self-distributed. Um, and a record group is often self-distributed as well. And there are four major music groups. Um, all major record labels are owned by four companies, and if they're not, then they're independent, as I've said earlier. Music groups are these are known as the big four because they're the biggest four labels at the moment. Uh, but <coughs> some record labels are self-distributed and they have their own departments within their company instead of the big four. Instead of using the big four's distributors and publishers. And the big four are Sony Music Entertainment, EMI, WMG, and Universal Music Group. And there's just a little diagram showing their share of the market. We'll start off with Sony. Sony is a 50 50 joint venture between Sony Corporation of America and Bottlesman AG. It's um, in 2004, it's called Sony BMG. But uh, now, since 2008, um, Sony bought BMG's share for about $1.5 billion, and now they fully own that company. And they have won about a 21.5 share in the worldwide music industry. And Sony owns labels such as RCA, Columbia, and Epic. And the next one we'll look at is EMI. EMI, it was founded in 1931, is owned by Citigroup at the moment, um, it's UK based. And it's a, a label in its own right, it's got EMI, EMI Records, um, but it's, it's a, one of the big four because it owns smaller labels and has a publishing distribution arm. It has about 13.4 share in the market. And they own labels such as Virgin Records, Parlophone and Capital Records. The next one is Warner Music Group. They're the third largest group in the Big Four and they created in 1958 as part of Warner Brothers Records. Um, they went independent for seven years but uh, were recently bought by Access Industries and own 11.3% of the market. They own labels such as uh, Fueled by Raymond, Atlantic, Electra, uh, Warner Brother Records, and Epitaph, but the Epitaph is more used um, WMG as a distributor instead of um, instead of being owned by them. And the last one is Universal Music Group. Universal was uh, once the music company attached to the film studio Universal Pictures, but in the 60s uh, they split apart and. Um, but it originally started as Decca Records in 1934 and then was bought by Universal Pictures.
1996 it became Universal Music Group and they're the largest of the big four and own over a quarter of the industry and um, they're so large in fact that each record group is managed by an un umbrella label um, which you'll see in a second and the labels owned by them are Motown, Geffen, Interscope and Mercury But um, obviously we can't forget independent or indie labels. Um, an indie label is obviously any label that's not owned by the big four um, and traditionally doesn't have its own distribution channels. Um, so, but that doesn't that mean doesn't mean it's not they're all really small companies. They can still be huge companies and make millions and sign big artists. But um, in a lot of cases, they are smaller and they are reliant on other companies for distribution. So examples are, um, there's that diagram again, some examples of indie labels are Epitaph Records in the America, Banquet Records here in the UK, Hazelwood Vinyl Plastics in Germany, and Cooking Vinyl again here in the UK. Um, thank you for watching my presentation.